Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. It's Tuesday. It's time to talk about some new releases coming out this Friday, March 10th. There's about 500 albums coming out in total. I got uh, 10 on my list to talk about today, though. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music weekly playlist that we put together, and also the Patreon page. Make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know to find every time I release new episodes. Well, like I said in the intro, there's about 500 albums coming out this week. I've got 10 on the list that I'm going to talk about today. So if there's something I don't talk about, make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what else you're looking forward to. And of course, like always, if you're unable to find any of these albums in your local brick and mortar stores, I'll put links down below. All these will be available online. The first two are albums that I've really been waiting to, to finally get released. The first one, this is Bush, The Art of Survival. This was released October of last year. It's Bush's ninth studio album. There's two versions of this I saw online. There's a white version, and then there's a, a black version of it. Both of them are going to run you about 30 bucks. I haven't listened to this yet. You know, I will say that over the last couple of years, well, probably over the last year or so, I've slowly been getting into the later part of Bush's career. I've been a big fan of their first couple of albums, you know, since the mid nineties when they first came out or beginning, beginning part of the nineties when they first came out. But, uh, you know, their, their recent albums are actually pretty good. Art of survival actually has some really great reviews. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to picking that one up. And then the, the next one, this is cake prolonging the magic first released back in 1998. It's cake's third studio album. Uh, it's celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. This is the follow-up to uh, Fashion Nugget, which was a huge album. And, I, you know, to be completely honest, Prolonging the Magic, it, it was really known for Never There was the huge track that was on there. I actually like Prolonging the Magic a little bit more than, than Fashion Nugget. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to that. It's going to run you about 23 bucks online. It is newly remastered. So, you know, Bush is, I'm sorry, not Bush, but uh, Cake has been slowly kind of reissuing some of their stuff, you know, over the last year. I think they started with Fashion Nugget. Prolonging the Magic is going to be next, and they're going to kind of go on from there. This week, Richard Cheese is reissuing The Sunny Side of the Moon. This is a uh, compilation album from uh, back in 2006. It's on yellow vinyl. It looks really cool. It's going to run you 26 bucks online. This is a compilation of, I think it was his first like four or five albums that Richard Cheese did. This is a compilation of just some greatest hits off of that. Of course, uh, you know, Down with the Sickness was the big track that he had off of, uh, you know, Dawn of the Dead. Uh, you know, got some kind of traction, some success with that track. And if you're unfamiliar with who Richard Cheese is and what he does with his music, he takes all these great songs and does them lounge style, which is absolutely fantastic. A lot of them are really hilarious. It's definitely one worth checking out. Uh, he's got on this on this compilation that he has Baby Got Back, Down With The Sickness, like I said, from uh, Dawn, of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Sunday Bloody Sunday, Gin and Juice, Girls, 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 just a long list of great tracks. And like I said, a lot of them are really hilarious. Then you've also got uh, Miley Cyrus' new album, Endless Summer Vacation, coming out this week. This is her eighth studio album. It's going to run you about 25 bucks online. This is the uh, follow-up to Plastic Hearts, which she released back in 2020. If you aren't for unfamiliar with Plastic Hearts, check that out also because it's a fantastic album. I think it really kind of flew under the radar with everything else that was going on in uh, in 2020. Plastic Hearts had a really strong like kind of 80s rock vibe to it. Uh, I know Billy Idol was on there. I think Joan Jett was on there also. There's some like uh, new wave stuff also. It's a really kind of interesting album. If you're unfamiliar with it or if you really haven't checked out anything from uh, Miley Cyrus's career, I would definitely start with that album because I think, in my opinion, it is her best album. But uh, this is definitely, I think Endless Summer Vacation is going to be a different kind of album than what she did on that one. But uh, all of these stream it and check it out. So I'm generally not a big fan of 12-inch singles. You know, for the price you're paying for them, you know, there's only a couple of songs on there. But there is a really interesting one coming out this week that I'm really kind of considering picking up just because I'm a huge fan of this band. This is the Misfits, Twilight of the Dead. It uh, has Twilight of the Dead and Land of the Dead on it, both for, from their 2011 album, The Devil's Reign, which I don't think I ever listened to the album. I know it's different from a lot of the other Misfits stuff. Uh, you know, it has Jerry only on vocals. You know, to be completely honest, I'm more a fan of the Glenn, Glenn Danzig era, the early part of uh, the Misfits career. But uh, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely check it out. I love the artwork on this. It has a very, like, 
80s zombie late kind of vibe i think that the uh the album the album cover the artwork on this uh 12 inch single has if you're unfamiliar with uh zombie lake it was one of those like cheesy campy early 80s horror movies this is gonna run at 18 bucks online so that's why i said it. it's only 18 dollars. I-, I might pick it up just because i love the misfit so much you've also got uh bad brains release and rise Bad Brains has been over the last year or so. They've been reissu- reissuing a lot of the albums from their from their catalog. This was first released back in 1993. It's their fifth studio album. It's a green and yellow marbled vinyl. This is an MOV release. It's a 30th anniversary release. It's only going to be a thousand copies. That's going to be available. It's going to be about 45 bucks, which is definitely kind of pricey. But a lot of those MOV releases tend to tend to be in that like. 38 to 42 dollar range so it's really not off from a lot of the other stuff that they've released this was a bad brains major label de- debut and it's their only album to not feature hr on on vocals this week you get kind of an interesting release coming out this is the reissue of blackmore's night shadow of the moon this was first released back in 1997 it's their debut album 25th anniversary there's a black version and a clear version the black version is going to run you about 40 bucks the clear version is going to run you about 45 they both have all the same stuff in it. It's a double LP. They both come with the uh, bonus seven inch that has uh, the bo- the the demo for Shadow of the Moon. Also comes with a CD. So I kind of think you're getting a lot with this package here if you're a fan of this album. Richie Blackmore, of course, the guitarist from Deep Purple and Rainbow. This is an album that he did with his wife Candace Knight. You know, to be completely honest, it's it's a it's definitely a different kind of album. I would the best way to kind of describe this is like medieval folk rock i guess is probably the, the at least the way i would describe it it's definitely one one worth streaming and checking out if you're if you haven't listened to it yet uh i i like a couple of tracks but i think it took me a while to get into this album ian loves this album he's been waiting for this one to get reissued for a long time you've also got mariah carey the rarities coming out this week first released back in october 2020 it's a 4 lp compilation this thing's are run you about 90 bucks online this is a compilation of rare songs fan favorites unreleased tracks and includes a live concert from Mar- march 7 1996 in the tokyo dome so you're getting a lot i think for for that package four lps you know 90 bucks i guess that's kind of what the going rate is for for that uh, kind of release this week you get the new album from van morrison coming out this is moving on skiffle it says 44 studio album which i had no clue van morrison had so many studio albums but I guess when you've been making music for as long as he have, has, I, I guess that makes sense. It's a double LP. It's going to run you about 40 bucks online. There's 23 tracks. I did stream, I think it was two or three tracks. I already streamed off this album. has a very strong, like, mid-50s rock vibe to it. So it's interesting. I'll, I'll definitely stream that one and check it out. And then last on the list, you got Thrice, The Illusion of Safety. First released back in 2002. It's Thrice's second studio album. It's on electric blue vinyl. It's going to run you about 24 bucks. Uh, this has a. This includes a bonus track that I don't think was on the, the previous reissues of this. And that is uh, That Hideous Strength. I'm not all that familiar with Thrice. They're definitely one of those bands that should probably go back and check out their albums. They're a band that pops up all the time. I know a lot of people love this band. I, I don't know if I've ever listened to more than maybe one or two songs from the band. Well, that's all I got for you this week, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Like I said, there's about 500 albums coming out this week. I only talked about 10, so make sure you drop me a comment down below. And let me know what you're looking forward to. I'm definitely going to grab a, co- a copy of that uh, Bush album, that Cake album for sure, the Richard Cheese album I've got on pre-order already, and then maybe on that, that Misfits 12-inch, well, depending on uh, if, if I'm able to grab it in one of my local stores. But uh, let me know what you guys are looking forward to. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a little thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. That's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.